Hi, this is Mr. Egg here, looking over the wonderful Pattaya Bay. My last, my video last week um, was a real hit, and it created an awful lot of chat in the comments about the future of Pattaya. Let's just assume from last week's video that we think that Pattaya is going to survive, and there is going to be a future for this town. The question is, what's it going to be? I'm going to get my crystal balls out take a little bit of a gaze and I'm going to give you three different things that I think are going to affect the medium to long term future of this city. So if you like the video give us give us a thumbs up. If for those of you who don't know me my name's Mr Egg. My real name's Phil. I'm the boss of Le Pub Pataya on Soy Diamond. Come down and see me in the bar every day. Let's get me balls out and have a look. <laughs> first thing that I think is going to drastically change this city is the fact that the world has changed, not just during the worldwide pandemic, but there's a real generation gap that's started now in, in the world. Look, I'm 55 next year and I've just got to admit it, I'm, I'm old, I'm getting old now and younger people and when I say younger people, I mean people in their 30s and 40s, not just their 20s or their teens. They think differently to me and what they want out of life and what they want out of a vacation or a holiday is completely different to what my generation wants. And I do believe that they're going to grow up still wanting those things that are important to them. And by that, I mean things like having big experiences when they go on holiday and being able to put those things, to journal those things on their social media. Social media is just really, really important to the younger generations. Being able to stick things on Instagram and show all their mates at work and back home that they're having a great time. So, in my opinion, things like the big experiences, the safari experiences, zip lining, uh, non nooch gardens, maybe um, other really, really big uh, fun experiences that they can take photos and show off to their friends, adventurous things. Those are the things that are gonna att attract the, the younger and the middle generations to this city and on holiday. So I think that Pattaya has to adapt to that sort of feelings of the newer generation. One thing's for sure, the generations that are growing up now are not gonna be happy sitting in a beer bar um, in the Made in Thailand, listening to some bands completely destroying Hotel California, playing Jenga with some bar girl. That is not something that is gonna attract the new generations to this town. And another thing, new generations I've also got different views on things like sex, relationships, and even the way they meet people. Yes, online dating is a thing now. Everybody seems to be meeting online, you're getting a girlfriend, you're getting married, and that is obviously something that's very big here in Pattaya right now with all the, the online apps, and those will only get bigger and bigger. So, as you can see, the demographics of the people that are going to be coming here in the next 10 years are going to change and Pattaya has to change as well and there's one more thing you know I mentioned earlier about the worldwide pandemic the worldwide pandemic will have locked people away for a certain amount of time if not this year than last year and they would have took time to have a think about their own lives and what they want to do in the future. Maybe people in their 30s and 40s have been saving up for their later years, retirement or whatever, and now that money's gone. And they're thinking, what was the point of that? So maybe the, the new midlife crisis will be travel. Let's go and live somewhere remotely and work, or let's just sell everything up and go and travel the world. And one of the things, one of the places that they'll come where people always seem to come, especially from Northern Europe, is Southeast Asia, and Pattaya is definitely going to be on their radar. So, a lot more transient travelling people, a lot of a, a younger, more 
outward looking different thinking generations are going to come and holiday in Pattaya they're going to want big and bold and exciting places that they can document on their social media that's the first thing and the second thing that's going to change this city is quite similar the second fact that is going to change the future of this town is the fact that as the rest of the world has changed Thailand has changed as well and so have Thai people especially the younger generations many many of the staff that were working here on Walking Street maybe in these little beer bars here have now gone home for what 18 months possibly two years and they're going to be thinking they're going to be thinking or have been thinking for a long time about their future and what they're going to do and one of the great things about this country is that it is so easy to set up a small business for example so a lot of the girls that have left who have not been working in the industry for 18 months have gone home have set up nail salons hair salons little mommy and uh, mom and pop uh, convenience stores set up online businesses selling makeup or clothes and they've got on their own two feet I've heard from two girls that used to work for me that I've contacted in in the last week or so and they've told me boss thanks for the memories but we've moved on we've now got one's got a convenience store another one has got um, a nail salon and and they've just moved on and they're not going to be coming back so younger people have been looking further than the entertainment industry here in in Pattaya for their futures and another thing is even those people that may be interested in coming back to work here are not going to be looking at beer bars and, and I use this one as example it's probably a very good beer bar but they've been watching TV they watch um, a lot of Western television now and they're going to be wanting the big glitzy places that Western people want so they're going to be wanting to work in places like this this is the old uh, marine disco look at that massive great big LED there it looks sensational when it's lit up places with big sound systems uh, big capacities great light shows those are the places that younger people are going to work and the smaller beer bars are going to have to uh, evolve and become more modern a lot glitzier looking to be able to survive I think there will be a severe call at the lower end uh, of, of the beer bar market but the big go-go's and the big massive entertainment venues and nightclubs will get bigger and bigger and bigger for those of you from Europe and from uh, the United Kingdom where I'm from you'll know about Ibiza the island turned itself into a massive clubbing venue that is what will happen here for the younger generations so places like LK Metro Walking Street here with the bigger venues the glitzier venues and the more modern looking places will survive and the smaller beer bars and maybe massage places they'll always be there for a market but they're going to get smaller and smaller and smaller and, and in so doing the sleazier side of this city will get smaller as well the third thing that is really going to change this city I've got to get my skates on or rather get on my track the third thing that is going to dramatically change the future of this town is going to be happening right about here well not actually here where this grass verges in the middle there about 20 meters above will be the brand new high-speed rail link that will connect Suwanapum, Don Moang Airport with downtown Bangkok, Chatan Sao, uh, Chomburi and then here in Pattaya. The station will be a couple of miles that way but in maybe six to seven years time you'll be seeing trains coming over 200 miles an hour from Bangkok Airport here to Pattaya and of course there'll be trains going from Pattaya 
into the airport and downtown Bangkok as well. That is gonna revolutionize this town because it will really become a satellite town for Bangkok. Think of Luton or Watford in comparison to the city of London. So you're gonna get a lot of people living here in Pattaya in the John Tien area and they're gonna be buying up all those condos that are being built, loads and loads of uh, excess um, condos that are there doing nothing. Those are gonna be bought up by people who work in Bangkok. They're gonna be commuting every day along here and it's gonna be just as quick a journey time as if they were in Bangkok itself. And also, of course, the other way, you're gonna get people that are on holiday, on vacation, maybe people that are on a round the world trip or whatever, landing in the big Southeast Asian airport hub of Sawanapum and being told, hey, get a train from there in half an hour, 40 minutes. You're in a beach seaside town with loads and loads of nightlife and some amazing things to do, amazing golf, amazing adventures to be had right here. That is gonna be the way that they're gonna sell Pattaya to the world in five to 10 years time. So the train is a coming right about here. And that is the third and final thing that is gonna change this town and modernize it. A lot of people are scared of change. They talk about gentrification. Well, gentrification is a word that people use who are afraid of modernizing things. And there's nothing wrong with modernization. There is still gonna be the same old feel to Pattaya City, in my opinion. You're always gonna be able to come here, find a friend, uh, make new friends, have fun, have fun in the bars and the nightclubs, but they're gonna, they're gonna look better. I think they're gonna get bigger. They're gonna get more glamorous. And a lot more things are gonna go online as well. That, in my opinion, looking into my crystal balls, is what's gonna happen here in Pattaya in the next 10 years. Don't take my word for it. I'd like to know what you're thinking. What are your thoughts about what's gonna to happen to this town in the next decade? Let me know in the comments down below. But from now, my name's Phil, otherwise known as Mr. Egg. I'll see you in La Pub Pattaya. I hope you're gonna come and join us over these next few months. But for now, stay tuned for some more videos that are coming up, but we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>